Okay, this is the unpacking of the RCA personal CD player. Wow, we haven't seen those in a while, huh? Um, I don't know if you can hear the music, but that is coming out of the headphones. I went ahead and put a battery in it and unpacked it. So these headphones were in the bag. Um, and they look pretty new. Uh, these are the covers for the headphones that are still in the bag and haven't been put on. So I don't think they've been used. Got a manual. When I opened the CD container, it had this inside of it. So I don't think that's actually been used. Um, comes with the packaging and this is part of the packaging. And when you look at the unit itself, I put uh, fresh batteries in it. Um, those are my tester batteries, so you don't get those, but you can put your own two, it takes two double A's, um, but you can put your own in. Uh, a couple small scratches and such on top. Um, and that must be just from floating around on the thing. So you can see the kind of surface scratches on camera. You can actually see them on camera, but in the naked eye. So that's that, and then you can hear the station's not in clear, but I think it's actually probably a combination of the headphones and me not tuning the station. Um, so you should be able to hear music. And that's from that, and then let's check out the CD player. So on the side over here, It has a switch to switch to CD. And then that also turns it off. So your thing's off, and then you go ahead and you hit your play button. And I have Toots and the Matles in there right now, but that also will not come with your thing. And then it plays. And I have the headphones up to the thing right now, but the headphones work. So it all seems to work pretty good. Hit the buttons. Looks like we skip. And I remember back in the day if you would shake your thing, but there's no skipping um, at all. So works pretty good. Nice tight little unit. If you want to blast from the past or you kids born after uh, 1990, you probably have never seen one of these before. Yeah, I remember I got one of these in 1995 and I thought I was the coolest kid on the block. They were about $125 back then. Alright, happy bidding. We're going to do this uh, 99 cent start auction and just pay for shipping. Um, it's probably a 1 plus a 2 pounds, so unfortunately it's going to be, I don't know what's up there. Hopefully we stay at 15 ounces or less and it'll be about 5 bucks for shipping. Once you get in 1 and 2 pounds, it uh, takes a little bit more. But hopefully shipping stays cheap. I don't make anything on shipping, so it'll just be whatever the weight is. And that is our review. We'll pack that back up. We'll put the headphones back in the bag. We'll put this back where it came from. I'm going to take my two AA batteries back. It will come with the manual. And we'll tuck it all back in this protective little case that it came in originally. And we'll wrap that up, throw it in a bag or a box for you, and we'll get it out as soon as it's paid. Have a great day.